So the girl that went negative is because she had 10 Terry's the whole day do that to her. So yeah. she's like negative. I see that. I would have been like positive. She would have been like, hey, no one's ever done that. Let me give you my number. She had a really nice blue dress. I still yeah. remember that. You still remember the blue I dress girl? That. All right, blue dress girl, Thayer Street. <laughs> yeah, right now, right now. This is, this is my misconnection. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on. This is just the years whole. Later. Let's see how it goes. Girl in the blue gr- uh, dress. I want you. <laughs> Terry has gone so far out of the way to find you that he started a whole freaking podcast. It's true. On misconnections, I, just to find you. So if you're still out there, turn that negative into a positive. Five six brunette. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, so we're back for some misconnections with our Mr. Rody Foodie himself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. By the way, real quick, yes. and I know you're you're a very humble guy. Congratulations on the studio upgrade here. This looks fantastic. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, it's like I have to borrow it. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you want, you're more than welcome. I know to you've a, always offered. You're you're a very generous man. Thank you. Thanks. All right, let's uh, let's dive into some misconnections. So when. While you're getting into it, give mm-hmm. me a little uh, background. Can you tell I'm used to being the host? <laughs> give yeah. me a little background on how you guys came up with this concept because it's absolutely amazing. Mm. So tactically, I was like, "What can we do to film again and again with you know without like it's, it's crazy effort?" You know what yeah. I mean? So we've got this podcast set up and we've got the internet. So I remember I was selling something on Craigslist. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it always starts, man. And then I saw the misconnection yeah. uh, segment. Yeah. And I was like, well, you know, it piques my interest. And I look and I just couldn't stop. It's like it's like being on Tinder. You just keep swiping. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, you just yeah. keep going. And uh, I know that sounds awful. Like I'm not, I mean, whatever floats your boat, but I mean these these get pretty funny. Here's the thing. You know, I'm gonna give you an idea. And you you guys probably already thought of this because you guys are an amazing uh, think tank here. I'm smelling a documentary. Mm idea here linking up with people that actually but also at the same time getting live feed of someone that did it okay. and waiting for a response and getting the behind the scenes of them meeting up i'm just saying write it like down no those like the catfish show back in the day yeah just like catfish docu-series. but misconnections misconnection docuseries i'll have to keep that in mind i don't i like it i see it on netflix netflix <laughs> okay netflix cut the check let's go <laughs> Netflix is the beast. Yeah, they they're not playing around whatsoever. This this first one looks interesting already. Okay. So, Livy's and I think he's talking about the the this is how much I'm and I'm hoping he's talking about. Yeah, he is. Okay. So, Livy's is a um a place in downtown inside of the arcade. This sounds okay. like I wrote this. I didn't. <laughs> um Livy's is a, a lunch spot. Okay. It's, uh, they sell like euros and oh yeah, I'm familiar yeah, with that place. I didn't know it was the pronounced Livy's. Yeah, or well, maybe it's Levi's. No, yeah, not, that's, not Levi's. That's how I see. I, I read Levi's in my head. Yeah, Livy's. Yeah, um, but great family that owns it. So, okay. do you want to do the honors? Yeah. Or? What do you do? You just read it. So you, you were it. with your friends getting lunch, and I just happened to be there. You have nice ink on your forum, and I think you're hot AF. What does AF stand for? As oh okay, <laughs> uh, male for female. I know that much. Um, this is vague, man. You know Ooh, why? This was downtown, posted a lot of eleven girl- hours ago. Oh, so he probably had lunch. He was lunch there yesterday. Wrote it at nighttime, right? Am okay. I doing the math right on that? Oh, the whole. I'm, I'm getting like. <laughs> <laughs> are, are we deconstructing this way too much? My here? problems. Guess what? You don't yeah. have to do math on camera. <laughs> no, but um, this one is too. Here's my thing with these, right? Because yeah. I feel like you need to start being. Folks that are doing this, you need to be a little more specific. What was the tattoo? That was it what a dragon? I say to them all oh, okay. the time. We need specifics. Yeah, what's, any details? What is it? What's the ink? Yeah. Right? What is it? A dragon? Is it a heart? What what did like, you what, have? How tall is she? You know what I mean? What were you wearing? Was it a blue shirt? Like that's yes. how I would do it. Yeah. I'd get strips stalker style. Don't worry, I'm not a stalker. <laughs> but like it'd be like yeah. the big Joe from Netflix. You know? <laughs> yeah. I see you. Yeah. You look like you're a thinker. Are you a, an Aries? <laughs> that's how you have to do it, though. If you're really trying to connect your miss, yep. then that's what you're doing. All right. So we got a guy or girl. We don't know, but. Yep. Somebody's... Well, no, male. Male for female. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Male for female. Yeah. Well, he's got I know those acronyms. There. You know why? Because I'm old enough before the internet was the internet. Mm-hmm. 
my generation did the age, sex, location, and I still remember. I'll give you a quick story. Mm-hmm. So I'm in a laptop, and my friend had one. Mm-hmm. They were they had a little cash, right? So they had a laptop, and it was literally just a black. It would almost look like DOS. You know, what DOS looks like just like black with white lettering, super basic. Okay, and it was just that, and you got to choose almost like uh, like this. You got to choose the state. And then they broke it. They used to break it down by colleges. What was this called? It was some chat room. It was like chat room before like AIM and all that stuff. Even this before AOL? Okay. Yeah, yeah AIM, before yeah. all of that. So this is what it was. So all those acronyms I'm, I'm pretty familiar with. They got a lot of new acronyms. Like oh Mimi's constantly God. like searching. I'm like, oh, man. They're like, I'm don't Google that. So we're going to get a virus. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, yeah, male for female. Well, I, I hope he. Uh, lunch. I, I hope he. I hope he finds her. Okay. So yes. Because I'm a lover, man. I'm a softie. I'm a Pisces. I'm a huge, a hopeless romantic, and I and I'm feeling a little some sparks here. Okay. So, so if you're a petite brunette, <laughs> yeah, and you were having, and you have tattoos on your forearm, and yeah. you were having lunch with your friends at Livy's, yeah, uh, downtown. There's a guy who's got the hots for you. I don't know. Maybe he maybe he might be Mr. Right. Yeah. Or I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Right? You, you do she, actually never know. She might she might not know unless she responds. This is how all these beautiful movies start is something like this. By the way, are you guys actively trying to help people? I would love that. Yeah. I would love that. I mean, I think I'd be, if, if if I was actively, I might pose this a little sooner. But Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's great. Cuz honestly, if someone did get a relationship based off these videos yeah i would have to follow up you know what would be really fun Mm -hmm. and totally up to you guys okay you i would have you post on here be like hey guys just to let you know we do a podcast on this section of the providence anybody who's actually met we would love to have you come on and i think it would be a fun you know just reach out to them to the community i will absolutely do that tonight just saying just saying it would be kind of cool to see it from the other side right yeah, no, you're yeah. right. Because yeah. how would they know? Like they're they're not they're probably not following me. Yeah, I only got like five thousand. And you know mentioned. that they're coming back to check. Yeah, so, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. or they probably met with them. They they they're gonna delete the post, mm-hmm. and then they see yours. They're like, what the heck is this? And then they click on it. Boom, good to go. Or here you go. You might have a lady. Okay. <laughs> this is how my mind works. Okay. You have a lady who's looking for the cute guy that she wanted that she saw at Marchetti's or whatever. You think they're actually looking on this thing though? I mean, I, if, you, I if, you're, so if you're if you're if you're a female, uh, comment below if you've ever looked at Miss Cricks. If you've ever submitted to Miss Connections. So, are you saying that most of the people on here are guys? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I, if, I, if we had to put down money, I'd say so. Yeah, I yeah. think you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right because they don't need help, right? It's the guys that need help. We're like, oh my god, we're too nervous to go say hi. Well, let's see. Let's see uh, more posts and see if it's a uh, you know if we get a. Bye. Okay, it's a guy or a girl. I like it. Okay, on to the next one. But I will, I will follow up with yeah, this guy. Yeah, I think that would be dope. All right. Uh, you know what? You're the guest, Lupe. Yeah, Mr. Rody Foodie. Uh, okay. Let me know where to go. Uh, I say we just go down, man, one by okay. one, early I'm morning. Down. Let's go. See, this is very specific because not everybody is a morning person. Looking for another older male for a morning. Okay. Fun. Well, that's. A- <laughs> I don't think that's a misconnection. I think that's a different part of Craigslist, and they probably cross posted. Oh, so, I think they got the right. <laughs> this actually, this, 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 well, there's some crazy you, stuff happening here. Really? The, oh, I thought, is, they had, I thought there was a different section. I don't think there's another section. I think this is the section. Not but that I know this, wild. but uh, I th- there used to be like a um, <laughs> uh, like a, what do they call it? Classifieds, where okay. you would be like, hey, you know, I'm is a that, chub- I don't I'm remember a, that. I'm a chubby Mexican from Rhode Island, no. and I'd love to take you out to, you know, uh, get some pizza. Okay. Um, I'll have to see if there's classifieds later. Let me let me look now. I think that is there, there classifieds? Is. Let me let me go back. Either that, or they we'll got rid of them because it got a little it got a little spicy. Let's see. Is there classifieds on Craigslist? I mean, when I think classifieds, I think of like I'm trying to buy stuff. Services don't look through services. <laughs> <laughs> Please, <laughs> why'd you say don't? Oh, I want to look at Artists, so bad. Uh, local groups, misconnected, lost and found. Yeah. No. Nope. I, guess, I guess they got. So we're they're in the right connections. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is the place. But you know what? If you're looking for that early mornings, who's gonna respond to that? You might have people that work third shift. You're right. I used to drive to work in the morning, right? And maybe people just driving a million miles an hour. I'm like, who are you, buddy? Like, calm down. Like, yeah. 
And so I, I started working a third shift job. And like, then I saw all my coworkers like just pedal to the metal trying to get home. Yeah. I'm like, it's you people. Yeah, it's you. Yeah. Okay, uh, Ashley and Ashley? Barrington. I like why, am I, why am I speaking like this? <laughs> <laughs> this is like that, uh, what was that show back in the day where they used to talk like this and be like, next caller. <laughs> yeah. Ashley from Barrington. Here's David. Oh, Cadillac Lounge. Let me know if you want to hire. I had a silly crush. Oh, this is a, this is. I'm not even going to read the rest real quick. I just want to put a period. Mm -hmm. So this is a this is like a, the long game. This is a long game one. Just okay. off the first period. Okay. I had a silly crush on you for 20 years. Oh, God. 20 years. That's too long. I don't know what it is, but you have been looking really good lately. Slightly jealous. She's been stalking this dude off. No, 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 no. This is... Or maybe it's oh, a guy wait. or a girl. Maybe it's a girl. I don't know. I think so. The misconnection, in my opinion, would be the guy looking for Ashley because he's putting her name on there, and she's oh. from Barrington. Well, there you I go. don't it's know the guy. Not that I'm a PI, but are we keeping? No, I'm. I'm <laughs> this is all guys. <laughs> uh, I I I cosign. Yeah, I cosign that assumption. Oh man, I wish I wish some of these folks would like the crush be a little more years. forward. A signed Mike, twenty year crush. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Everybody's different. Okay. I, yeah, I don't want to judge. Everybody's different. That's like that's like having like it's like, it's like having a uh, splinter for 20 years. I'm gonna, How do you leave it alone? I'm going to give you an example. And this is probably a weak example, mm -hmm. but still an example. I've had a 20-year crush on Sama Hayek. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were about to have yeah. me like, apologize. <laughs> Uh, no, so I, I get it. And probably, you know, everybody goes through tra transformations. Uh, probably the guy who put this up, or girl, right, or lady, yes, put this up and just you know some people are shy, man. Like I'm a very extrovert person, yeah. but I'm also part of me is introvert. Sometimes my social battery when I'm out, yeah, I shut down, and then people start asking, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" And then I have to drink a Red Bull, so I'm like, "You're an ambivert." Yeah, that way, I'm, is that a thing? Say that again. No, that's a real thing. It's an ambivert. An I, I think I, I used to think I was a hardcore introvert, and I think I am. Is that a mix? Yes, where uh, like for me, like you know, if I'm like if I'm around, like sometimes I do these videos, right? After a while, like I just shut down. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't have the energy. Batteries drained because I'm a natural introvert. But like sometimes, like, and I, I know I surprise people. Like when we go out and we could do events and like I'm shooting videos and stuff, like I could turn it on. Like I yeah. could make myself excited because like who wants to watch someone boring, right? Yeah, it's it, you're an ambivert. Yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I kind of like that. <laughs> A Ambienvert.com. We got it. <laughs> Don't try to uh, register that, guys. Um, but yeah, it's true. And I think everyone's like that to a certain point, right? When have you made uh, plans for something a week from now? A day comes, you're like, oh, mm. you know, I'm going to take a shower, get dressed, and go to this thing where I'd rather just stay home. Right? I think we're all introverts a little bit on that baseline, mm. but just some more than others. And yeah. this ambivert thing, which is amazing. I'm going to literally be on Wikipedia all night researching this. Thank you for that. Um, where it's up and down and all over the place. But like you, I can. Uh, I always tell myself, all right, man, time to rally. Right? Because yeah. you know, I, I, I want to have fun, mm -hmm. but sometimes the juice isn't there. So, you know. Well, also, I mean, so some people are more inclined to be introvert and an extrovert, right? Yeah. So we're not like hardwired to be a hundred percent one way, but there is people like that 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 lean more one way or the other. Yeah. So I think I think to a degree, uh, I forgot what podcast I was saying. We're all ambivert. Some are just yeah. like some are just more like more centered to be ambivert. Yeah. Like I didn't I didn't know I was an ambivert until I realized, oh, like when I go do a networking event, like I'm very comfortable. Yeah. Like, dude, I've I've officiated like six weddings. I don't have a problem what? getting in front of a crowd, right? I'm gonna put that up there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. give me the mic. Like, yeah. I'll do it. Like, I don't have a problem, but I don't care for the attention, the limelight. You know what I mean? Yeah, same here. Um, you know, when we do kind of the the roadie foodie events, um, I, I have I have a really good partner, Pat, and she she shines with the mic. I've met her a few times. Yeah. So she's that person, right? Like, I'm the like I'm a huge people person, but I rather like. I'm also a busy bee. What what can I do to help you? What can I do to help you? But when it comes to the thing, she made me do it one time. My voice cracked a little bit. Like in my head, I'm going, see, this is why I don't do this. <laughs> uh, but it was, you know why? Is because 
it, it wasn't the fear of public speaking because I don't mm. mind doing that. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about like media, right? Um, it's the uh, I'm so passionate about certain things, the restaurant industry being one of them, that I just want to make sure I get the right words out. Mm. And in my head, I can do more good by helping out behind the scenes than I can mm -hmm. on the mic, right? Yeah. So. And you know what? You are a very intuitive man, and I think you know yourself well enough. Where yeah, you're right. Thank you, bro. Yeah, All right, took so. a lot of took a lot of years, a lot of therapy <laughs> to find Lupe. Well, you know what? I mean, I hate the idea when they like. This is how I feel. Like yeah. Western society brings us up, where it's like you're 18 years old now. You should be an adult. You should know who you are, and then you should spend the next four to six to eight years just grinding away at this one occupation when it's like when you're 18 years as a kid you don't know who you are when did you find out you knew who you were i'll tell you me after you after you or do you want me to go okay first? that's a bad example because <laughs> i always knew i wanted to join the infantry and yeah. be a soldier oh, okay so i always that, knew that so that's good so that and that's okay for me um it was probably late 20s it mm -hmm. took me a solid decade after like I loved what I was doing out of high school, mm -hmm. right? I wouldn't trade that for the world, but it wasn't something we were talking about earlier. It's not something that I would have done for the rest of my life. Right. I really found my passion for a certain uh, thing, and you know, sometimes that journey is what's needed, right, to get you to that thing. Yeah. Because I wouldn't have gotten there without those ten years, yeah, of hustling and 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 working and everything else. So, you know, if you're out there, just keep. Forward is the name of the game, man. Just keep doing things. Just keep doing well, it. Well, okay, so maybe, maybe like I knew, like I wanted to have a do do military service. Maybe yeah. I knew that, right? But like I'm on the same page because, like, when I was younger, I thought photographers and you know models and makeup was like this foo foo weird thing. Like, yeah. I I didn't think I liked photography. I honestly didn't think like photography. Now I work in public affairs. I've taken photos for magazine publications. I've won awards mm -hmm. for my photos. Yeah. And when you asked me in high school, I was like, no, I'm, photography is not my yeah. thing. You know be what I mean? Like, you just don't know. Be like, who are you, sir, from the future? Stop lying to me. That's not what I'm going to be doing. Right. If, yeah. if, if, some, if I had time traveled and met my 16-year-old <laughs> self and said, hey, listen, you're going to be into photography. You're going to be into business. I would have said, you're stupid. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're, you're full of Right. Go away. Yeah. And that's the thing, too. Right. So, um, you know, to go back to uh, my personal example, in order to get to this point, I had to go through those 10 years of networking, you know, paying dues and everything else. There's no way that I would have been able to do the 10 year thing mm -hmm. right out of high school. No. So it's all part of the journey, man. I think you know, especially when you're young, you're so eager to grow up so fast. And yeah. then you get to our age where you're like. Oh, how do we slow down this bus? Yeah. Right? What kind of lotion do I need? <laughs> yeah, you know? Exactly. Get rid of these spots. Dude, I got some sunspots. Yeah, yeah. I just got a new freckle over here. I don't want to talk about it. I'm starting to get gray hair in my beard. Like, and, and it reverses, right? And that's, it's it's funny how someone actually explained it to me. Uh, very uh, straightforward. Hmm. They say when you're young, your concept of time isn't uh, fully developed yet. Because hmm. when you were a kid, right? And there was a month before Christmas. You thought it was a hundred years. Mm. You're like, what the hell? As you get older, your concept of time gets shorter and shorter. So you go, holy crap, dude, Christmas is in a month. I got so much to do. It flips on itself, right? So you need that. And everybody, when you're young, you try to speed up. And then when you're older, you try to slow down. And that's just life. That's just life. That's growing pains. <laughs> you can't be this five-year-old Buddhist, wise, insightful, you know, kid that's like, yeah, I don't think this is a valuable use of my time. You know what I mean? No, you're like, you're eating crayons. Yeah. I don't know. You're calling your mom. Uh, excuse me, Sandra. Uh, you need to schedule that in. I need to be able to do this. <laughs> Although, no. what was it? Mar Mozart was playing the piano by that age. So, yeah. Well, that's that was a different time. All right. Banquet at Bank NK. Okay. I haven't been to, you've been to North Kingstown in a while? I work just outside of it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so the official answer here is yes. Yes. Um, so ladies only. There you go. Oh, I don't know what WM means. White male? White male? It's 55. Yeah. Okay. Six feet. 
<laughs> dad bod and new balance sneakers this is a joke no no no. <laughs> no this ain't real next guys we are we're batting 200 here sunday at narrow river paddle boards and straw hats Oh, there we go. You wore a straw hat and woke me from a sandy nap to ask about my inflatable. This, this is the one. Yeah. This is a real one. All right. And to tell me about your traveler, your traveler, maybe traveling abroad, maybe. I'd love to chat more. That's fantastic. Two days ago. I wish that there was a way where they can come back and be like, heart means oh, it's we did it. Yeah. Um, or sad face, still looking. I don't know. Narragansett. I don't know if it's a guy looking for a girl, girl looking for a guy, girl looking for a girl. Yeah. They, oh, man. Maybe we... I'd love to help, but I don't <laughs> think I can. We need to... Uh, maybe in your in your post that you're going to make in here, mm-hmm. uh, give them a... Mm-hmm. Uh, what do they call that? A key? Right? Key. Like on the side where it says, guys, this is the acronyms you need to use, please, so we can figure out who for who, right? Okay. Male for male, women for women. Got it. Oh, this is probably me. <laughs> you, you caught my you caught my eye, and I think I caught yours as well. You were sitting with your friends, and I felt like I caught a smile on the way out. If you see this and want to know more, drop me a line. Oh man, dude, I I feel like <sighs> this is the type of person like, cause she looked at me, she loves me, the, you know. And it's uh, don't say no, yeah, to a, to a date with me. You smiled at me. You owe it. <laughs> That's not how it works, guys. <laughs> Yeah, that's a toughie. I don't know if we can help with that one. And this person is playing coy on misconnections. If you see this and want to know more, drop me a line. This person probably doesn't even see this message. Yeah, yeah. No, no bueno. Mm. I wish that they were... No, actually, this is a bad idea. Never mind. I'm not going to even say it. Okay. Actually, forget it. We'll say it. Okay. It'd be great if uh, people start posting photos. Yeah. But it might be creepy, right? You don't want someone taking a photo of you enjoying a sandwich at like... Duncan, right? <laughs> be like, you, you looked at me in the drive through. <laughs> be like, no, I was actually wincing because the sun was coming through. I would actually be flattered. Get out of here. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. See? I don't do well of online dating, so I don't know. Yeah. You know, I've, I've never done that. No? I've done it all old school all the time. Well, no, that's what I've done too. I just, I'm yeah. just, it's more of a time. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, efficiency. <laughs> Yeah, no, and, I, and I think what happened too is like, you know how old I am too. All that came when I was just in long term relationships. So there was no, not that there was no. Well, of course there was no need, but I just I wasn't at the crossroads of having to use an app. Yeah, I mean it's, because it's, it's the times and also times. you're a sociable person. No, trust me, I'm very comfortable. Well, yeah. here's the thing, like. I don't know why I do horrible, horrible online dating apps, but like I'm, I'm a pretty confident guy. <laughs> You're like, hi, <laughs> smiley face. I mean, like, yeah. just because like in-person uh, interaction, like I've gotten enough yeses and numbers to feel comfortable. Yeah. Like I'm not completely ugly. I've gotten yeah. lots of rejections too, to know yeah. like, you know, where I stand. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? I think I'm an average looking guy. That makes me feel better. With a slightly you're an attractive more man than an average been, build. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, <laughs> so I'm very you said above average. Get out of here, kid. Slight, slight, slightly you're, you're above a, average build, right? I saw you in the movie 300. Let's stop it. Okay. But um, I, I swear, if if, if, yeah. if if I had to build my self esteem off of like dating apps, I would think I'm like the ugliest man in the yeah. world. And I think here's here's the here's the issue with that too, right? Technology is a great way to bring the world together, but mm-hmm. it's also instant gratification and it's also very dismissive, right? Yeah. Um, you know, before think about it, before uh, when you were at home, you had a pile of magazines. That was your entertainment. Yeah. Now. If you're reading an article, another article can catch your eye and be like, that's a boring article. Let me read yeah. this one. But every person on Switch, <laughs> Blue Bay, I don't have. I, I, I don't even know which way is the yes, but I would swipe whatever it is for you, brother. I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate it. No, it's yeah. all good. It's all good. <laughs> uh, so Newport Creamery, nice. next time. Next time. And here's the thing, too. Like, I've never. Um, maybe I'm just. Sometimes I'm um, forward too. I'll go up. Oh yeah, no, that's that's the only approach like, I know. Yeah, New England's tough. Oh yeah, yeah. And I I respect that. 
I respect that because I know it's got to be tough being a girl. Like, you kind of get hit on. You got to say no at times. Some guys are jerks. Yeah. But honestly, so whenever I've traveled, like I've gone to Canada, I was like, oh my God, it's true. Everyone's so friendly. Like I was hitting on this girl really? and I was chatting her ear off for like an hour. <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I'm chatting her ear off for an hour. Yeah. And then like, I don't I don't remember what I said, but um, it was like suggestive where it's like, hey, like, you know, like I like, I think you're cute. Like, want to give me a number or whatever? Yeah. And uh, it was a no. And I, yeah. and I just remember, I was like, you let me tuck your ear off for an hour. Yeah. I've literally had girls like, like just like roll their eyes or put their hands in my face. Like, and I'm fine with that. Yeah. That, that I think that's made me Which, tougher. I think I, I think I said, told, told Natty this one time. Yeah. Yeah. No, they, I did. I definitely told Natty. Yeah. I was 19. I was on Thayer Street. It was a girl in a really nice dress. And uh, I remember I crossed the street. I was like, Hey, I, I said something along as like, Hey, you look really beautiful that dress. You know, uh, let me introduce myself or something like that. Yeah. And she, I remember she put her hand on my face and said negative. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, but that's that's you know, whatever. Yeah, that made me tougher. <clears throat> so, it anyways, did. yeah. And yeah. you know, here's the thing too, and and I think that this is what everyone should experience. Everyone should experience rejection. Mm-hmm. I have absolutely, and I have on the other side of things. Right. The thing with uh, super attractive people like yourself is that your frequency is a little down. So you have that extra kind of homegrown confidence, right? So the girl that went negative is because she had 10 Terry's the whole day do that to her. So she's yeah. like negative. I see that. I would have been like positive. She would have been like, eh, no one's ever done that. Let me give you my number. She had a really nice blue dress. I still yeah. remember that. You still remember the blue I dress girl? That. All right, blue dress girl, Thayer Street. <laughs> yeah, right now, right now. This is, this is my misconnection. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on. This is just the years whole, later. Let's see how it goes. Girl in the blue uh, dress, I want you. <laughs> Terry has gone so far out of the way to find you that he started a whole freaking podcast it's true. on misconnections I, <laughs> just to find you. So if you're still out there, turn that negative into a positive. Five, six, brunette. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well that's the key to uh terry's vault all right all right so sally may someone need a loan uh you're a cute female red-headed teacher we met about five years ago i to actually burville's a small town uh now you have to narrow it down between they were a teacher but here's the thing are they a teacher from burville or are they a teacher in burville that's the thing been a burrow once in my entire life. They have a uh, there's a restaurant there called Taco Shop. Okay. Yeah, it's actually decent tacos. Just to let you know, it's the only place that I've eaten in Burrowville. I like to eat my tacos from Cali Tacos. <laughs> I love Cali Tacos. Cali Tacos is fantastic. Are they sponsoring this? <laughs> no, no. Uh, so I if like, you guys want, uh, yeah. uh, no, I'm just kidding. I, like I was going to do a whole commercial for them. I like the guys there. Yeah, uh, Dan and all of them are great. <laughs> um, so, yeah, one day Ed and I literally, because you know Ed Brady. We we're like maniacs, dude. So one day we're just like, you want to get some neat? Yeah. We ran to we ran to the list of the usual suspects, right? We're like, nah, let's just go somewhere obscure. Okay. So we're like, all right, we're going to Burville. I'm like, that's obscure. I was like, all right, we're going to Burville. Yeah. And we literally drove around trying to find a place, and we found this place called the Taco Shop, and it was like the spot too. It was like the neighborhood spot. Okay. And it was actually good food. It wasn't just because it was the only taco shop in Northern Rhode Island. Yeah. It was actually good, too. Yeah. So it was like a two-for-one win. Huh. Yeah. So, guys, don't be afraid to go to these obscure towns, man. Look them up online. You yeah. never know what you're going to find. I want to refill this. <laughs> <We're laughs> you want to you wanna refill order? break? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely, bro. I don't know where we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> 